view on Christ. As to the origin of the present Jews in Palestine, he states that those Jews derived from Eastern Europe and many, many of the Jews that today live in the reconstituted state of Israel come from Eastern Europe are not descendants of the Judeans or the lost tribes of Israel, but rather descendants of the Khazars. Who were they? They were a nation most people do not even know of. He writes, The so-called self-styled Jews in Eastern Europe in modern history cannot legitimately point to a single ancient ancestor who ever set even a foot on the soil of Palestine in the era of Bible history. Research also revealed that the so-called or self-styled Jews in Eastern Europe were never Semites, are not Semites now, nor can they ever be regarded as Semites at any future time by any stretch of the imagination. What secret mysterious power has been able for countless generations to keep the origin and the history of the Khazars and the Khazar kingdom out of the history textbooks? Did you ever learn about it at school? I never learned about it. And out of classroom courses in history throughout the world, the origin and the history of Khazars and the Khazar kingdom are certainly incontestable historical facts. You have to do some cross-checking. Even the Jewish encyclopedia is quite explicit about it. This was the Khazar kingdom. Here is the Black Sea, the Byzantine Empire, here was Persia. And here was the kingdom of the Khazars. It was a massive kingdom. Now let's look at some of this interesting history. The Khazars were an Asiatic nation. And the Jewish encyclopedia states Persian origin that converted to Talmudic Judaism. Now obviously some of the rabbis involved there could have been Judeans and probably were Judean descendants. But their converts are not Judeans. And that had conquered a vast area of Eastern Europe, which was in turn later conquered by the Russians in the 10th and 13th century. So that is why there are so many Russian Jews. Have you ever thought where they came from? Did they escape from Palestine? Were they the lost 10 tribes? Did they emigrate to Russia? No. This is a totally different nation that accepted Talmudic Judaism, Judaism, Jewism. He writes, After a historic session with representatives of the three monotheistic religions, King Bulan, 7th century, 7th century, decided against Christian and Islam, because Islam had just arisen, just arisen, and selected as the future state religion the religious worship then known as Talmudism and not known and practiced as Judaism, which was totally different, which was based on the Bible. They adopted the Hebrew alphabet and the Khazars adapted words to their requirements from the German, the Slavonic and the Baltic languages. This language was known as Yiddish. And Yiddish used the Hebrew alphabetic characters, but not Hebrew. It's not Hebrew. It's Yiddish. I've always wondered, when I hear them speaking Yiddish, I understand quite a few words. Why? Because I'm German. They had many exchanges with universities and their students were trained. So here is another nation which had occupied this area, and they had adopted this religion and brought rabbis in and trained the people, but they were not Judean. 